so welcome you all today we will see the cfd analysis of multiple turn pulsating heat pipe So we are doing the analysis on coil in an evaporator pulsating heat pipe. So first of all geometry. I am editing the geometry with the help of design modeler option available. So first of all this is how the geometry is. You may slightly visualize the geometry in some other way like this. So first of all there are the geometry has been air and the remaining portion is considered to be water. I may further slice the geometry into further part so as to uh, we say divide some more portion that is related to your here. So based upon that I will select this is a from plane. So we will select xy plane over here. So xy uh, if I take xz plane depend how you want to cut the geometry accordingly I will take zx plane make it apply. Then I will make it offset z and through this I will try to slice, the, try to move this geometry above. So like this one, check out this planes, this is a plane 9, uh, plane 11, at what distance this plane 11 is, okay so it is from zx you are drawn. So I can take this plane 11 also and then I make, can make this is opposite z also. Uh, it depends like uh, which uh, plane we are selecting. Uh, this is also the one of the way. Uh, I will go back to this one where I am more comfortable in. So this is offset Z. Make it so first value say for example if I move by distance that is equal to 10 mm. It goes slightly up. I'll take it say 20. It will go here. If I take 30 it will be here like this. So I will say some around 40. And this will be okay. I will slightly reduce this value to 35. Okay, now this is how the narrow plane will be generated at this place and we'll make it generate. So I'm going to slice this plane. So click on slice, click on plane 12, and just try to click on generate. So you what you have done is you have slice the geometry into this part. If you want, you can slightly reduce the dimension also as the evaporator uh, section will be having more volume so accordingly we can uh, change this dimension also say for example if I take 30 I can this take 30 also but it will be slightly below so I will take it 35 over here make it generate so this is the first thing which is done that is the slicing operation now here it is air this is air and this is air so you can form this as a one part the way water has been formed so form new part I will say this is rename as the air so I rename this as air this was water so now it's a time to proceed with the further simulation so first of all save the work uh, okay you can go back to workbench window and save the work okay, wherever you suppose to save it I will save here and prepare one more folder that is evaporator coil again write the name say evaporator coil okay make it save now the next option will be to start the fluent one so the fluid flow fluent drag this in front geometry has already been prepared so you don't need to proceed further so you can just close this design modeler window also so go back to your workbench and just click on mesh click on edit so we are going to 
generate the mesh this is the first thing and second thing that we are going to do is we will specify the evaporator and condenser and then uh, we say the boundary conditions will be applied so this is all the geometry uh, that will be uploaded over here so first of all generate mesh you can change the size of the mesh definitely now right now I'm going with the default mesh so that the computer will generate the mesh at its own so that is 57,621 you definitely can go on to change the mesh size also we'll keep it as it is uh, and we'll check out how the results that are been coming so this one the portion which I'm going to specify as a heating zone it can be like uh, the portion where the heating is been taking place and another portion that is going to do is this one this is going to be specified as your condenser okay so we have specified two sections one it is heating or I will say heater over here rather than heating say heater and I will say this is a condenser so likewise I am going to proceed uh, so first of all just check it in the workbench window so it is not uh, right click here so to make this is right click just go over here and make it update and then you can you can see the message the mesh translation to fluent is successful you can click uh, you can see in front of mesh it is right click now next thing is to go for setup it depends on um, how much uh, processors that you can run on your computer I will specify it is 4 so uh, accordingly you can I go ahead say if I specify it's 2 just check it out whether it will go on to proceed with the simulation or not if it is not going with the proceed with the simulation you are likely to get some errors and that error will be observed over here where the number of GPUs uh, per machine may not be sufficient so such kind of message can be observed if it is uh, this message is coming you can go back and uh, change the this, this, uh, the number of processors as well as the number of GPUs per machine okay so this is one message which has been there uh, I'm not sure what is this okay okay so as of now I think there is no such error uh, which has been coming over here so we can proceed with the, the simulation so first one transient then I'm specifying gravity in the minus 9.81 that is minus 9.81 that is in the negative direction so click on this okay uh, next thing is uh, this is the first one then model we are specifying the multiphase model that is volume of fluid model implicit body force make it apply uh, just Euler in phases was specified two. then energy equation we have this one energy equation make it okay uh, so click on this okay uh, viscous I will select here it is K epsilon enhance volt treatment we will select the thermal effect and the curvature correction so make it okay uh, then you go back to the materials so let's specify the materials which we can have in the fluent database say for example I'm using water liquid and using water vapor make it copy and then it is close so close this window you will see water vapor and water liquid available uh, here you can select copper say cu double per you can select this is cu copper uh, the values you can put 8978 then I know this value that's why I'm putting otherwise you can go with the database and uh, do the things so make it and you can close this so now it has been changed to copper so I'm just not sure what is this 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 one okay so this is how the thing material has been specified you know you go back to your multiphase volume and then specify your phases earlier we are not specified because we are not specified the material so primary phase I am going to specify as steam that is will be water vapor and secondary phase I am going to specify this as water so it will be water liquid so best way uh, you can do this then specify the phase interaction so here it is constant I will 0 0.0736 that is the surface tension I am checking water as a working fluid that's why it is 0 0.7736 
you may have some different value when the different working with fluid is being used so steam water i would say it is water into steam uh, over here so we can say evaporation condensation so specify the specific temperature at which the fluid will be uh, transformed into vapor so we have specified forces we have specified this thing then close this one then you go back to your cell zone condition check out the operating conditions over here so here i will specify 4000 pascals make it apply and you go on uh, with the boundary conditions which are being specified at condenser just edit the boundary condition at condenser specify the angle that is 20 over here i'm not specifying any temperature out here now next thing is the heater say specify your temperature that is say for example 343 is the maximum temperature that we are supposed to achieve then sorry not 340 this is 20 and your thermal property should be 343 okay make it apply and then this is close just check it out condenser whether we are taken correct yeah then next thing is your wall go on to specify the 20 as a, as a surface contact angle between water and steam and then make it close one more time specify this is 20 make it apply and then it is close one more time this one make it 20 and okay sorry this is 20 and make this one close so likewise properly you have to do each and everything okay just check it with this one just to confirm and let's take the next one here again it is 20 make it apply close the water air wall air make it specify as 20 carefully select values make it apply then close one more time uh, make it this one as 20 make it apply and close so i'm not uh, applied any temperatures on the in between section only thing i have applied temperature at eu operator so go to the initialization over here so click on the initialize then you have to patch the zones so which has to be patch water volume fraction that is specified of one patch with the water and make it patch and then that is close next thing is calculation activities this is a very important thing you want to save the work in between so go to that specify something now it is water volume fraction i will specify new object you contours what you want to visualize you want to visualize the phase interaction so it is for water i want to visualize first one select condenser air wall 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 so whatever the walls which will be involved as well as the heater that you have to specify okay now next thing color map option you can select as a float make it apply and this is close so once you click on save display the contours will be visible over here so make it uh, you can change the name also here can do say water volume okay make it save display and make it okay and then this is close and select this depends it's what view you want accordingly you can uh, keep if you want to keep this view this will be better as far as uh, this particular object has been concerned so you may keep this particular view or you may keep front also like if it is kept isometric so that can be also one of the best view which has been available i will keep this view itself because i want to visualize how the things are happening here later on you can modify or check change the view also so not much an issue then i will take it adaptive time step number of time steps here 500 as of now i will say this is 0 0.0005 and you just click on calculate okay the process has started 
you can see i will just go on to close the image because it is no more it is required you can close this okay number of you can see how the processes which are been running over here so the graphics which we have specified that has been there cpu percentage a uh, 35% ram ram which we are using so it shows and suddenly you might hear some noise which is coming from the computer so that is related to how uh, the utilization has been increased so accordingly the things are been changed so gpu utilization has been increased to 24% it is 42% so noise is coming so we'll try to run this simulation for longer time so as to visualize the things controls of water yeah controls of volume fraction water you might select one different uh, perspective view also so as to visualize in quite better way uh, as of now this utilization is quite higher so that's why so much of noise is coming out so we'll wait until uh, this process is been been there and check out what will happen at the end of 500 time steps so we are almost at the end of the iteration process that is the first uh, time step that is around 500 we are just on the verge of completing this uh, 500 time step uh, as of now you might see here the alternate liquid and vapor silks are in form which will be having a tendency to move up as of now this view has been limited so that's why we are not able to see in this direction but simultaneously you can change this uh, also to view visualize in this way also so uh, by this side you can see this is it has the tendency to go up and this is somewhat lower so you might see this like uh, liquid vapor slugs which are trying to move towards the the condenser section so this is what the evapor section is and accordingly uh, we say the process is continue so as of now this is around 9300 it is time steps uh, sorry iterations has been performed the time steps are just only 500 and we'll just check it out what will be happening at the end of 28 or 27 second so this is the three third one which we can uh, change a different perspective for visualization also if somebody wants to visualize only the front view of this that can also be visualized you just have to set in the simulation so here you can make changes and accordingly this can also be visualized so this is the residual here you can see the process how it has been proceeded so it just 18 time steps are been required uh, you can check out the process charts also how much consumption is been there whether your gpu and cpu how much speeds are been there so that can also be visualized so this is just uh, only 13 number of time steps are been remaining i will just check it out uh, the simulation in terms of uh, running this animation so this is 9 8 it was just i guess 10 to 15 minutes before we are started this this is 5 4 3 you will see a message which is calculation completed at the end of this time step okay so there will be some message which is coming out okay you can click on this immediately go to the workbench window and check out all this is right click just click on the save button so that whatever work which has been done that will be saved sometimes due to power failure or other things this can happen uh, i will go back to your workbench window and just check it out how many number of uh, okay so there are total 20 cores which are available out of which we have utilized four okay so gpu computing has been disabled so this is what the message which we can see over here 
so if somebody wants you can just check it out uh, here the number of processors are four so one more time just go on to click on the save button and we'll just try to run the simulation okay now go to the animation window click on playback you can just change the view also say here 500 are in there you just click on this you can see the alternate liquid vapor slugs that will be formed you can change the view also see here okay, it might not be possible yeah so the liquid and vapor slugs formation started it is going towards the condenser section okay now uh, what i will do is slightly make some changes over here and we'll make this front and just okay now just one more time i will just show you with only five number of time steps how the changes will take place okay now i just changed it to front view now you can see one of the views visible over here the other view will be isometric so this is how the advantages when you are observing the object uh, maybe with some different view so that uh, you can do this kind of thing also so make it okay and one more time click on save so likewise uh, we need to perform this iteration for longer uh, time so that this will go alternately could a person like go to the tops and you will be observing the process of your operation and condensation so by that time we'll wait and we'll discuss complete the process of iteration so let's start it again that is i will specify 995 over here how you will already done so we'll start on calculations okay make it okay and let the process to start so we have almost completed the 5000 number of time steps i will just check out how the visualization will be there so go to the playback option available uh, you can see specify to say 10 and just check it out how the flow is flowing alternate liquid and vapor slugs are been there you can see this is disappear so it means the vapor has transformed into a liquid so this is how uh, which can be observed so vapor has transformed into liquid so that is how the condensation has been taking place so that can be easily visualized while the simulation has been run itself so you can just check it for uh, the whether you are doing going in the proper direction or not so for this uh, this setting the animation while performing the iteration is very important so we are around 10,000 time steps I will just check out this is 10,000 step step one more time I will just show you make it okay just see how so these are up to 10,002 time step you are done let's just save it in the work over here and I can just close the fluent option available to proceed with the post processor so just click on the results over here So click on condenser, click on wall air, then heater and wall water. Click on this, just check out, set the transparency say 0.9, make it apply. Wall air, set the transparency say 0.9, make it apply, you can see this one. Then heater, set transparency say 0.9, make it apply. And last one, wall heater, set the transparency say 0.9. And make it apply so right now this is how the object uh, the geometry has been prepared you can make this geometry in some other visualization also we will keep it as it is and then we'll start proceeding with the simulation okay so the geometry has been prepared placed in such a way that all the things will be visible so first of all we'll go to the volume rendering option available here 
So what we want to visualize, we want to visualize the water volume fraction. So we'll specify that and just click on the apply button. On the left hand side, this will be uh, available over here. Now, you might set the resolution, say for example, 50. Just check it out. Yeah. So if I take this somewhere around 100, resolution will be quite better than the one which was specified earlier. So you can go at max up to 250. But again, the time required in 250 case will be quite higher than uh, what you are doing it for, say, uh, 220. So let's go back to this one. Uh, you can see the legend, default legend over here. So I uh, just check it out. Instead of scientific, I'll make it fix. Uh, precision 3, you can take value tricks at, say, for example, 11. So that each and every value will be visible. You can see here. make it okay volume rendering if I take it fix and just take it 11 make it apply uh, here's changing the aspect ratio say for example this okay now not like that simply take it some higher value aspect uh, we just look at this lower value okay slightly increase this for example here okay and uh, I will have the sides to somewhat higher value. Okay, so this is coming till the this one. Uh, at the top, I will going to specify the date. So go to the ABC over here. So here you can say time step. You can specify time step at this location. At the center, you can take it center. Just check it out where it comes out. It comes out here. Uh, you might not want this at this. Uh, a place so you may take it uh, to the top also or you may slightly adjust this in such a way that uh, it will be visible in proper way so likewise the things can be adjusted so here the time step has been specified now next thing is which we can do is make it apply first then we have a time value enable this one time value will take it to the uh, location as left and then with this bottom make it here so time value will be available one more time add one more text over here so this one say file date it will be taken to the location at the left and I will take it to the top okay so make it apply so this has also been there now one more time click on this text uh, now uh, we have taken file date then we have taken time step also uh, time value we have also taken time steps also been taken okay you can write as a file name so for example close loop pulsating heat pipe with coil then evaporator okay so the location you can check uh, just check it left and send okay not left to the right and center just check it out how it comes out yeah this comes out here or uh, you may take it right at the bottom just check it out whether it comes out properly there or not so it has come so you may add one more text say file name over here again uh, you may specify say for example okay so this is how a location you can take center uh, sorry right and center and make it apply so it can come here so likewise now you can proceed with the running the simulation so first of all uh, we have to specify this one uh, HD then go with the advanced option 60 frame rates highest has selected use output directory you can click a directory over here 
so new folder i will take evaporator i will say coil uh, choose this one make this one save similarly save this one in that evaporator coil okay so you may specify this name also evaporator with coil or coil in an evaporator so make it save and just simply click on to play button once you click on the play button uh, the saving process will start so definitely this will be going to take more time because uh, we have taken that is 200 as a 250 sorry as a resolution so definitely it will go on to take more time uh, we'll just check it how this thing can be there uh, in the document we had evaporator coil so you might start observe this has started coming so likewise the things can be done uh, over here so the second image which we are having at 40 so this will uh, process will continue it will take a time uh, this around 100 it can take we are having around uh, 10,000 time steps so it definitely will go on to take out more time at the same time your consumption sorry uh, the power consumption will go on to increase because the CPU usage will go on to increase uh, say here it is somewhere around 4.66 gigahertz and 14 percent has been used then your memory is also been used so uh, the files which will be available here one by one we can uh, just check it out and we can proceed so this is how we'll wait for this simulation till the time it has been completed up to say 10,000 I will check out the video file which has been generated and that will be the the output which we are actually interested in so we'll wait uh, till it completes around 1,000 sorry 10,000 times